Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new Huda Beauty Pastel Obsessions palettes. I definitely have some thoughts on these. I've been using them over the past couple of days now. And what I thought I would do for this review is just do my review and swatches up front. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you a look with each palette. Um, I just thought this might be a better way to structure it instead of doing the looks all in between because I know some of you guys like to see looks and others just want to see the review and swatches. So once the review and swatches part is done, if you don't care about the looks then you can just click out and if you do then you can watch through to the end all right so first things first I just want to mention they did send these to me in PR as well as some brushes that go along with it the brushes are really cool I had a great time using these and they're all double-ended so you'll see me using these at the end during the tutorial so let me just quickly go ahead and read the description on the card that I got from them it says that they're built around three whimsical shades lilac mint and rose and each one includes dreamy matte shades metallic jellies and next generation shimmer swirl so I thought that these were really cool I love that Huda does all of these interesting textures in her palettes and you'll see the shimmer swirls up front but basically they're these kind of marbly shades right here and then there are also jellies that are kind of like reminiscent of the ColourPop super shocks so they're like a little bit more of a cream shadow texture and then of course you have your mattes and your shimmer shades so first up we have Rose Obsessions, and this one's described as a wearable collection of dreamy ballet pink and blush peach mattes, delicate shimmers, and sunshine yellow. So what they basically did with this one is just add that pop of yellow to it, and you'll see in each palette that they sort of offer a contrasting shade to the shade that the palette is all about, so it's not a completely monochromatic palette. I think that's really nice. And then we have Lilac Obsessions. This one's described as a seductive series of dusty mauve mattes, lavender shimmers, pops of luxurious fizzy violet, a velvety apricot matte, and a pop of soft coral shimmer. So with this one, I really love how they paired the purples with the apricot and peachy shades. I think that's a really pretty combo. And then we have Mint Obsessions, and this says it's an unusual balance of warm and cool tones. This palette indulges your lids in soft mint and apple green mattes, pistachio, teal, and icy aqua shimmers, a touch of honey bronze shimmer, and a rich tan matte. So again, for this one, they kind of mix those pastel mint colors with the bronze shades, which I think is really cool as well. I love that combination. So when I look at these palettes all together, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Mercury Retrograde, and it's similar to, I think, what she did with the Mini Nude Obsessions, how they were kind of an extension of the New Nudes palette. I feel like these are kind of an extension of Mercury Retrograde. So if you look at, like, Mercury Retrograde next to the Mint one, for example, you can pull, like, those bronzy shades from Mercury Retrograde and also the Mint Green. And then looking at it next to the Lilac Obsessions, you can see some of those purple and dusty purple shades that are in Mercury Retrograde as well. And then also next to Rose Obsessions, you can see it doesn't have the yellows like Rose Obsessions, but it does have some of those cooler pink tones. So for me, it feels kind of like just an extension of Mercury Retrograde. I've also been hearing that these are dupes for some of the ColourPop monochromatic palettes. A few of them I don't have, so I'm not able to do comparisons, but I'm going to link down below a video from Makeup Just For Fun. She's someone that I follow over on Instagram, and she did awesome comparison swatches between these and the ColourPop ones. So I'll leave her video linked down below. In case you want to check that out but I can tell you right now that she really didn't find that they were dupes of the ColourPop ones at all um, so anyway let's talk formula and that's kind of where my love affair with these palettes ends because I love the looks of them I couldn't wait to get them home but as I started working with them I realized why I'm not always a fan of pastel palettes even though the idea to me is a really good one when I was trying to blend out the mattes in my crease I just felt like there was so much powder kick up they were so super dusty and just going everywhere I ended up actually the day that I did the mint look I started out just putting it on my eyes with no primer and I quickly realized that I was gonna need a primer to kind of anchor it down a little so I ended up going back and you know wiping it off putting a Mac paint pot down and then applying it over that and that helped a little bit for sure but I just felt like the matte shades, even the darker ones, went on very, very sheer. And then when it comes to the shimmer shades, those are incredibly sheer as well. They almost perform more like toppers than actual shimmer shades that are full of pigment. So for me, I felt like the best way to use these palettes was to lay down a full matte shade across my eyelid first, which normally I don't do, but I just wanted some color underneath. So for all three of the looks that I did at the end of this video, that's basically what I had to do. And also, I just felt like the shimmers were very firmly pressed. Like when you go to 
put your finger in them they don't move like they don't have that buttery feel where you feel like you're kind of moving the product around a little bit and you feel like you're picking it up you really don't pick it up that easily I felt like I had to really dig and dig just to get a lot of the color up onto my finger so for those reasons I just found these palettes to be more difficult to work with than other Huda palettes I love her formula normally and I feel like these matte shades feel really beautiful they swatch really well but then when it comes to applying them with a brush I just like I could see the powder kick up going everywhere when I tried to put them in my crease and then I actually had tons of fallout like right here under my eyes as I was moving it back and forth in my crease it was just like falling and kind of leaving little piles of eyeshadow that I had to brush away and not to mention that I also have glitter all over my face from the shimmer shades so as much as I love Huda Beauty and I'm so thankful to them for sending these to me it just wasn't my favorite formula of theirs and I think I much prefer either the mercury retrograde palette or also the little mini nude obsessions so I can get my fix with that one if I'm in the mood for a lighter eyeshadow look. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave you here and jump into the looks, but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comments below what you think of these palettes, if you've tried them, if you purchased them, or if you're not planning to purchase them also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the corner before you go, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!